hey y'all y'all i'm when i tell you the enemy has tried his best for me not to get this word out today but honey i am here to serve satan the enemy notice that we are going to go forth we're gonna press we're gonna push i have tried to record this video three times already the last time my dog ran out the house and had me down there running running down the street running after him the first two times had distractions all around me i said you know what i am determined to get this word out because somebody need to hear this somebody needs to hear it if you're new to the channel should you like the essence of today's video go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are an oldie but a goodie put it in the comments oldie but a goodie you guys god laid it on my heart to share this with you and he said god has basically told me the blessings is on the way his blessings are on the way okay so we need to get ready we don't need to 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 uh to get ready when he blesses us we need to go ahead and be ready if you go ahead and be ready you won't have to get ready. You understand what I'm saying? While we're waiting on God to bless us, we need to make sure our mind is right. Make sure our heart is right. Make sure we have everything in line. Make sure everything is in order. Because God is coming with his promises. And he's coming with his promises swiftly. And we got to be ready for the promises that God has promised us. If God said it in his word, he will not, his word is just what it is, his word. His word will not return to him void. God made us some promises and I want my stuff. I want my stuff back. I want what God has promised me. He told me that I can have it. He already showed me that I was going to get it. So while I'm waiting while I'm waiting and I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and prepare myself. And I encourage you to do the same thing. For those of you who are looking at this message right now, it's for you. If you find this message later down the line, then it'll be for you at that time. But whoever is looking at this message right now, just know that it is about to happen. It's a shift in the atmosphere. I don't know if you feel it, but I feel it. I know it's a shift in the atmosphere because things are just looking different. Things are, are sounding different. Things are feeling different. Things are just working out. Working Things are just working itself out. Things are falling out of line. <clears throat> To fall in line, if you get what I'm saying. So while we're waiting for God to, to, to bless us, we've got to make sure that uh, we, we're ready. We're ready for the things that God is about to bless us with. If you're looking for, if you're waiting for, if you're looking for, if you're waiting for, if you know that God has promised you a car, go ahead and start doing your homework. How much you think it's going to take for you to fill up that, that tank of gas? How how much, what type of maintenance or how much is it going to cost to maintain that car as far as a maintenance bill? If you're moving from, if God has promised you a house, have you started looking for furniture yet? Have you started looking for curtains yet? Have you started looking for backsplashes, pictures, flowers? Have you started preparing yourself for what God has promised you? Ha um, if you're praying for God to bless you with a new job, what type of preparation are you for you to receive the new job? Whether it be you got to buy new clothes, do you do you got work clothes in your closet to be? Are you ready for one? So when God sees fit for you to have that job that you've been praying for Him for, are you ready to receive that job? If you've been praying and asking God to lose a certain amount of weight. Go ahead and start buying them clothes to, to so that you know when you start losing that weight, you already have pieces already in your closet, in the stash, ready to be worn. Whatever it is, whatever promises that God has promised you, get ready because it's going to happen. And when it happens, you need to be ready to receive it. Like I said, while you're waiting, while in the waiting period for God to move like he's promised he would, Make sure your prayer life, that's an intimate time for you 
to to have to worship God, worship him in trial and in true, worship him in the good and worship him in the bad, not because of what he's done for you or what he's going to do, not because you've been good or not because you've been bad, just worship him. He wants us to worship him because just for who he is, because he is God of all God. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. We got to pray to him daily. We've got to worship him daily. We got to get in the habit, make it a repetitious thing. It's personable. It's it's a personal relationship. Once you have a personal relationship with God, it, it, it's just like a feeling that you, you, it's like almost like fire shut up in your bones. You just can't help yourself. You're going to want to share the gospel. You want to share and talk about God to everybody that you know. It, it's just it's just going to be like a burning sensation that you, you just can't help yourself. And that's how I've been feeling. That's how my husband even said it last night. He was like, I just got this feeling. I don't know what it is, but I just got this feeling that something great is about to happen. I said, because God is getting ready to, God is, God is getting ready to blow our minds. And I told this, and my husband, when me and my husband got married, and our vows was to each other, that we said that we would pray together we would stay together we were tied together we made a covenant together so if i'm getting blessed he getting blessed if he getting blessed i'm getting blessed we're one we are a unit and if i feel it i know he felt it and when he told me that he said he just had a feeling a good a good gut feeling about something i said baby we in the house baby we in the house okay i don't <coughs> I don't know what it is, where it's coming from, but whatever it is, we got to be ready. We know what we've been asking God for. So we're in the preparation of, 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 of making sure that when God starts throwing out them blessings left and right, throwing out them blessings left and right, Carla, we're going we gonna to be ready. We're going to be ready to receive those blessings. Okay. I just wanted to share that with you guys, share that to encourage you that if you're looking at this, if you're looking at this video right now, it's the reason you're looking at this video right now. It's the reason that God allowed this video to land in your timeline. It's the reason that God put the notifications on for you to receive the notification that this video just dropped or this video dropped in your timeline for you to look at. It's, it's just not a coincidence. Things don't just happen. Things don't just happen. Things happen because they were ordained to happen. So if 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 this video resonates with you, then put it in the comments right now. Put it in the comments right now. I declare and decree it's my time. It's my blessing. God is about to do it. And God is, God is not a small God. God is not a small God. He don't do things small, honey. He do big, he do big things. He do big things. And if I see my neighbor getting blessed. And I see my neighbors getting blessed. And I see my neighbors getting blessed. The people behind me getting blessed. Oh, baby, I know God is in the neighborhood. And he right down my road. He right down the street from me, honey. And I know I'm next. Okay, I'm excited about it. The enemy tried to stop me from getting out here and doing this message. I said, if I got to go out there in my car, go in my secret place of hiding and get this message out, I was determined to get this message out today because I don't know who needs to hear it. I don't know who needs to hear this. But honey, God said, get ready. He said, get ready for the blessings because he will give you the blessings that your heart desires. He said, he's going to bless you so much till you got no more room where you're going to be blessed to be a blessing to other people. He's going to blow. He's going to blow your mind. He's going to blow your mind. And I tell God every day, God, I give you permission. I give you permission. I give you the authority over my life to bless me. Yes, I surrender all to you, Jesus. Okay. And I hope this blesses somebody. Whoever needs to hear this, let every ear hear. I love you guys. And there is nothing, and I mean nothing that you can do about it. Thank you guys to my oldie, but my goodies who, who are in loving the change, who is embracing the change, the pivot that this channel is going. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel compelled right now. I feel so good. This space that I'm in, I feel so good right now. It's just, it's just a, a natural flow to me. I, I don't know who, I don't know who it's for, but, but God, I just want to say thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for the new people that you are sending my way. God, bless them in a mighty special way. God bless your people for you are good and you are worthy to be praised. All right, you guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you keep looking good because nobody got to know what you're going through. Remember that trouble don't last always. Remember to keep looking good, keep smelling good, you guys, and I'll see y'all on another video, and it will be very, very soon, because I'm on the road today, y'all. I'm on the road now, y'all. Ain't no turning back. Ain't no turning back. I can't do things my way. When I try to do things my way, it never works out. I feel like I'll just go in a circle, doing a, out in the wilderness, just going through circles, same cycle, over and over and over again, because I'm trying to do things my way, honey. Well, time out for Carla doing things her way. We're going to try to do it God's way. We're going to do it God's way this time. God has already given me a word. God has already put it in my spirit. God has already told me what my calling is, and I've got to be about my father's business, like it or not. All right? I'll talk to y'all on tomorrow with another video or whenever God lays it on my heart to give y'all another word. Okay? Bye.